jump in with David, who just put down 50,000 Costa Rican something whose name I can't pronounce, local currency. Uh, David says, please comment on discrepancy between your forgiving the Iranian people for their misfortune in having horrible leaders, but condemn Gazans for theirs. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, two things I'd say about this. One is a significant number of Iranian people are out in the streets demonstrating. A significant number of Iranian people, whenever they can, uh, uh, go out and go out and, and protest and, and 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 express their disagreement. Uh, you know they are they are often put on trial and killed, and yet they keep going out there and express this courage of standing up to the regime and expressing an independent view of the regime. Uh, in Iran, there uh, you know there's an authoritarian government, but look, the reality is in terms of you know if this was a hot war that if uh, what was necessary was to bomb Tehran and a lot of innocent Iranians died, but that was necessary in order to win the war and to stop the Iranians from doing what they're doing and from killing people all over the world, then that is what is necessary. That is, the fact that I think more of the Iranian or significant number of the Iranian population is, quote, innocent, more so than the Palestinian population, um, is um, does not change the fact that in a war, a lot of those innocents will die, and it's completely justified for them, and sadly, to die. Just like 50,000 Frenchmen died in the Allies' attempts to liberate France. In the bombings, in the crossfire, innocent civilians died. That's the reality of war, and you can't stop it. Now, with regard to the Palestinians, there is no Palestinian movement that's anti you know, anti-authoritarian. Uh, uh, there is no Palestinian movement that is uh, pro-living with the Israelis and with the Jews. Uh, the Palestinian people uh, overwhelmingly, overwhelming majority, supported the October 7th massacre, support Hamas' desire uh, from the river to the sea to destroy uh, Israel and to kill all the Jews there. A majority of the Palestinian people voted when they had a vote for Hamas, and poll after poll show that in a straight-up election, Hamas would win again. That is, the Palestinian people have shown, in a variety of different ways, their agreement with Hamas, their agreement with uh, the, the, you know, uh, with the destruction of the state of Israel, whether done by Hamas the PLO or, or some other uh, horrible authoritarian dictatorial regime. Um, and, uh, you know, so therefore I think there are very few adults in the Palestinian Authority who are innocent. I think they're almost all complicit. Now, there's a large number of children there, and you can't say children are guilty, particularly if they're young, but children suffer for the sins of their parents. There's just no other way around it. Their parents are making choices that are destructive to the lives of their children. Their parents are making choices that are putting the lives of their children in danger. And if they have a complaint, they should send it to the parents. So, uh, uh, David, I, I'm answering the question. You might must be behind in terms of uh, the program. Anyway, uh, so uh, yes, uh, the big difference is the Iranians, there's a solid, I don't know, 30, 40% were anti this regime. There's probably another 30% who are indifferent to this regime. And the regime probably only has about 30% support. Um, that's what the numbers suggest. Now, uh, so I'm, I'm more sympathetic to the innocents in Iran than to a Hamas regime that seems to have the support of 70% of Palestinians. And the ones who are not pro-Hamas pro, pro um, have not done anything to express their opposition, like in Iran, where they've gone at the streets and risked their lives. And for that, I salute them. Thank you, David.